How was Tenochtitlan built on water with canals and floating gardens different from European cities at the time? Okay, what is Tenochtitlan? I will show you Tenochtitlan. Yes, I will. We have to go to maps. So we go to map. We zoom out from Africa. And I shall take you to the city of Tenochtitlan. So we go westwards. We go westwards. We go westwards. We cross the Atlantic. Now we go northwards into Central, Central America. And now we zoom into what's called Mexico. And we zoom in. And we zoom in. And we zoom in. This here is Tenochtitlan. It's now called Mexico City. It used to be called Tenochtitlan. And this city was built inside a lake. The lake was called Lake Texcoco. T-E-X-C-O-C-O. -C -O. This was the seat of the Triple Alliance. The Aztec Triple Alliance. So the city was built inside a lake. You can't see the lake today. The Spaniards have wiped the lake out. Right? And this basilica of whatever, whatever, it is built on a destroyed temple. Okay, that's what the Spaniards do. You will see the similar things happening in India also. Wherever you have the old Portuguese or French churches, they'll be built on destroyed temples. Anyhow, so this is Mexico City. It, is, it, it used to be called Tenochtitlan before the uh, Spanish destruction of the Aztec Empire. Now, so how was this city of Tenochtitlan different from European cities of the time? So Tenochtitlan was, like I said, built inside a lake. The lake wasn't super deep. And the city was built as, as like, like islands, kind of floating islands inside the lake. And instead of having water, I mean, having, having roads, you had waterways. So the city had canals for transportation. You could transport humans, even animals, on boats in the canals. So today, you, if you want to travel in, 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 in any major Indian city, you would take, I don't know, two-wheeler, three-wheeler, <laughs> four-wheeler, whatever. If you don't have one of your own, you can hire a taxi or whatever, call, call one of the uh, services, you can do that. So in Tenochtitlan, you could, I suppose, call a boatwala. I would like to go to so place, market and come back. How much? That sort of thing. And you also had causeways. So you could, so that, that connected the city to the mainland, which was not the lake. And in the middle of the lake, where you had the city, you also had farmland. So they had created these artificial islands, kind of floating islands, where you had farms. It was a city like no other. It was a very powerful, it was a seat of an, of an empire. So that's very different from European cities. European cities, around 1500, were generally constructed around forts and castles. So Europe was this tribal region where you had tribal warfare that went on for centuries, going back to the pre-Christian era. Um, so all the major cities of Europe, they started as castles and fortifications. So you would have some kind of chieftain, maybe a small king or small chieftain, who would construct a, a fort or a castle with a moat around it. And you will have like 100, 200 soldiers inside. And because that place is a place of protection, which will give you protection from neighboring raiders, that's why small a small settlement will come around it. And they will offer services to the king, and the king will offer protection. And that's how the, 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 the settlements slowly grow. And that's how you have cities like Paris and so on that became big cities eventually. And they grew, these cities like Paris, etc., they grew organically. Even London initially. They grew organically, they grew haphazardly, they were not planned cities. And uh, that's why they were congested. They would they would not be very hygienic. Uh, they used to they used to have a class of people called the gong farmers, who would be allowed inside, inside the city only at night to take the shit off the roads, because the Europeans used to dump the shit on the roads, the excreta in the night from buckets onto the streets of the city. So the streets, the, the city used to stink immensely. And there was a certain caste of Europeans who were called the gonfermour or the gong farmers who, would be, who, would, who were untouchables and who would be allowed only inside the city at night to collect the excrement. 
and they have to disappear before morning because they are untouchable they are they are dirty and they their children could only do this job this work they could not aspire to any other life so that's the kind of caste system you had in, in europe so cities in europe were disgustingly dirty stinky extremely congested uh in in a city like rome you had something called the cloaca maxi cloaca maxima which was the great sewer and you had smaller sewers so rome at least had sewers but other european cities later on did not have sewer, sewer systems uh tenochtitlan was not like that everything was well organized and so overall it was very different right a unique city and that's something the spaniards completely smashed and 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 they created they renamed it to mexico city and and they destroyed the lake which is why there is no lake there today